Duke Energy acquires a new solar project. Phillips Lighting presents their fourth quarter financials and how the state of Georgia is becoming one of the nation's largest power producers. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, today is Tuesday, January the 25th, and I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, here to bring you the latest daily energy news. Leading off, Duke Energy has acquired a new solar project from Sun Power in Hertford County, North Carolina. Green Coast Solutions has agreed to purchase renewable energy certificates, while North Carolina Membership Corporation plans to buy electricity from the project. Green Coast Solutions has agreed to purchase renewable energy certificates, while North Carolina Electric Membership Corporation plans to buy electricity from the project. The 6.4 megawatt Murfreesboro solar project will reach commercial operation later this year. Green Co.'s 20-year purchase agreement enables it to buy renewable energy certificates from the facility so that the company can meet its renewable energy and energy efficiency portfolio standards as mandated by the state. This project is Duke Energy's third such undertaking in the state of North Carolina. Phillips Lighting has announced the company's fourth quarter financials with a net income of 465 million euros, a 205 million euro increase from fourth quarter of 2009. Nominal sales rose 2 percent, while comparable sales declined 4 percent due to the reflection of a weakened consumer demand in Western European markets. Notably, LED sales increased by 37 percent compared to 2009 standards, which now account for 14 percent of total lighting sales. And finally, Arclight Capital Partners and GE Financial Services are collaborating with the Government of Singapore Investment Corporation to finance five Georgia natural gas-fired power plants. Together, these power plants will become the largest fully independent power producers in the southern part of the United States. Arclight is the current owner and will divide 50% of the shares equally between GE and GIC. The five facilities are capable of producing 2,500 megawatts of power from their one combined cycle facility and four single cycle factories. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in tomorrow to check out your latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, wishing you a fantastic day.